I'm not sure how, but I'm up. It is 5.28. My alarm went off, scared the crap out of me, out of my sleep at like 5.03. I tried to snooze and go right back to sleep and like I was dozing in and out, but I couldn't fall back to sleep. So I had that like inner dialogue of, you're pretty much up and if you don't get up and go, you're gonna regret it because you're gonna be sitting up at 6 a.m. in your bed and you could have been in class getting your workout in and getting it over with. So I went back and forth over that and I was like, you know what, screw it, just go. It is currently, let's see what the temperature is because I have a feeling it's very cold. Oh, it's only 39 degrees, it's actually not too bad. I'm gonna grab my water bottle, put my sneakers on and hit the road. And I'm hoping it was it's gonna be worth it. I have no idea. But I don't remember the last time my body worked. I don't think I've ever worked out at 6 a.m. I used to do 5 a.m. three years ago. And I was on that schedule for a long time when I worked in the New York City. But, yeah, it's been a good three years since I've done this to myself. So, fingers crossed it's worth it. Although I'm pretty bundled, it's really not that cold. This scuba hoodie is perfect. I need about 1,300 more. So, Eddie, uh, surprise me. <laughs> I survived. It was actually a pretty decent class. It wasn't like the best um, high energy, crazy cardio class, but it was good for what I wanted this morning. We did a lot of weights with a barbell um, in like sets of five, we did drop sets. And I even did my first clean and press ever. Uh, so that was interesting, but I was able to do it. And he has the people in the class, cause it's, there was like maybe 10 of us, count the sets like he switches it off every person and he even got me involved which you know actually was nice it was it just opened you up so i decided since it is 7 a.m and i worked out already i'm gonna treat myself to a coffee which there's a place here called pete's coffee it seems to be a chain down here i'm not sure where else it's a chain but i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get myself a nice breakfast coffee trying to order adina menzel tickets for my mom my sister and i for this july in baltimore and I'm like waiting here because they just went on sale. And of course, the website's crashing on me. Come on, I didn't think that the Baltimore ones would be difficult to find. Okay, here we go. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Max is like, stop mom, I'm sleeping. Okay, I got the tickets. I had so many different tickets, it's dark in here, I'm sorry. I had so many different ones and I kept losing them. I didn't think that this was gonna sell the way that it did, like as fast as it did. I don't know why, I thought maybe because it was Baltimore, but I guess Adina Menzel since Frozen is a lot different than Adina Menzel back when she was in rent when her tickets were $20 versus $145. But either way, I'm really excited and I'm going to see her for the second time in July. Whoop, whoop. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it. Pat it. Pat it. Bake it with bake a. Bake it with a. B. A B. A B. Bake it with a B. Put it in the oven for you and me. Or a baby and me. That's how I used to sing it. I don't have any babies. Chances are baby. That's why that's you're why playing. I said you and me. Oh. <laughs> Chances. Miss Mary, oh wait, yeah, Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver <laughs> buttons, buttons, buttons all down their back, 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 welcome to us. Until one day, day, yeah. no, I don't know, I don't she remember. Aw, he loves, you want to play some more? he's like, I don't want to do this anymore, he's been sitting on his butt for a long time. Oh, Aww, he just wants to cuddle, still pick him up, okay. pick him up. Okay. My something, 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 something. <laughs> How uh, does that one start? My, that one I never knew either. You never knew that one? Do, eeny, meeny, my mo. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Boy, Do, uh, twinkle, <laughs> twinkle. No, you don't play that. On what started out as such a great morning <laughs> turned into such a shit fest. I... Finally, after six and a half hours, literally six and a half hours of trying, minus the one hour I was at the gym, to upload yesterday, two days ago vlog, whatever, to upload the video, it just went up. Um, I'm not really sure if like YouTube is doing more updates because I know they've been doing like a lot of updates this week. 
So let me tell you something. When a video gets stuck in processing for six hours, like on, like I had to delete and re-upload the video all of those times. I think it took me seven. I just dropped the water bottle. Um, it's just infuriating. So anyway, I'm taking a break from the computer because I've also been having a lot of computer stress in my office because I'm trying to set up a mail account. Um, I'm trying to fix my work mail account. And I'm just not someone, like I'm pretty tech savvy and you know, being a blogger and a YouTuber and you know, I went to school for television production so I know how to like shoot and edit and all that kind of stuff. So I consider myself techie, but I cannot for the life of me understand pop and SMTP mail and IMAPs. Like I just, I don't get it. Um, so it causes me a lot of stress and anxiety when I have to try and figure it out. It's just, I've always been blessed to have my dad do all that for me. And Eddie's learning, but hasn't mastered it yet because it's just tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Anyway, I have a call in about a half hour, so I'm going to pre-prepare my lunch, which is going to be chicken salad um, on a whole wheat, everything bagel thin. I'm gonna make it like a chicken salad melt. I love chicken salad and I totally forgot that we had this. I would have eaten this all week instead of Eddie's cold cuts had I remembered, but it's okay, he likes sharing with me. So I'm gonna make that um, and I'll show you what, I mean, mine isn't healthy, I'm not gonna pretend that it is. First step is I take the chicken out of the can, I drain it, but instead of draining it down the sink, I actually split it between both of the do the, doigs, the dog's bowls and just give them the chicken juice because they love it. It's like a little special treat. And then I just cut it up with a fork. I just break it all apart because it comes in big, big chunks. Then I'm going to add mayo. Let's see, I'll show you. Mayo, chopped onion, of course. I don't add garlic, surprise, surprise. Um, rotisserie chicken. And sometimes I also add some roasted garlic and herbs. So I guess I do add garlic. <laughs> uh, uh, or I add... Nope, if I had the perfect pinch all purpose, like the, it's just like a little, like, um, you know, it has everything. I'd add that, but I don't think, oh, I wasn't even shooting. I don't think we have it anymore. We don't, we have three jars of Cajun because clearly that's what every person needs in their house. Sometimes I also like to add a little bit of Italian style breadcrumbs, but I accidentally added the whole rest of this without even paying attention. And it's a little salty because of that, but I'm very sensitive to salt since I don't add it into any of my cooking. So I can, like things that are salty to me, Eddie wouldn't even like know the result in it because I'm just so sensitive to it at this point. Um, so I'm gonna cover it, pop it in the fridge for an hour because I like it cold and then I will complete my melt. My lunch break is consisting of my chicken salad with a slice of Munster and half of an avocado, some Asiago crisps on the side and the chicken salad. I toasted this a little bit and I'm watching um, my housewife life vlog while I eat my lunch. So I give myself a brain break and a break. I took the boys for a quick walk. Um, I don't take like a full hour and there's days I don't take breaks at all, but that's just the way I always am. Even at my old job, I didn't take lunch breaks. So I just, you know, I don't, I'm home. I feel like taking an hour off is silly thing, which I'm not going to, but uh, I'm really happy with it so far. It's teal and white in scales and it says Coil and Grace and it has a little magnetic clasp. Uh, there it is on the, I posted it in this group. We love EC um, because a lot of people were asking if anyone had gotten it and I wanted to share it with the women that share my love for Erin Condren. So oh, this is my phone background right now, if you guys want to see, because I haven't given you an update in a while. And this is my lock screen, pink glittery reindeer. I'm really into like the whole deer theme right now. But anyway, it has two slots and then a big one back here. So I'm going to put it into action because I just found out that there is a container store really close to here. And there's maybe one container store that just opened up recently on Long Island, but I had never made it there and then we moved. And it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. I'm not really sure why, um, but I've heard like outside of just like household storage things, they have really great stickers for organizing and um, wrapping paper. So my mission of the weekend is actually to get like boxes and wrapping paper for all the gifts that are starting to come in that I've been ordering online for family and friends. So I figured it's five o'clock on a Friday night, Eddie's working, so why not go out and just, you know, shop by myself and just see what I come across. I thought maybe you guys would want to come along with me. Changes up the vlogs a little bit. 
I always choose the best times to leave my house, five o'clock heading towards DC. Thankfully, I'm getting off at Arlington, but still. This is the exit that it takes to get to my gym where it says Sherlington. Things out of focus though. But this is it. I've somehow stumbled upon the world's most amazing street in Arlington. Lulu, Crate and Barrel, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Container Store, Cheesecake Factory, um, Aristotle, uh, not Aristotle, um, Anthropology, Pottery Barn. However, I'm parked at a meter and for a quarter it got me 22 minutes, for a second quarter it got me 37 minutes. So, I don't really know what that's about, but I think there's also tree lighting down here somewhere tonight. So, I picked a really good night, but I'll just cash my dollar in and I'm shopping around. This is amazing. Everything is so bright in here. I like want to redo my whole office again. And look at the tissue paper. Like they just have so much cute stuff. I'm pissed about my parking because I gotta get lost in here. A little storage caddy. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's like a Christmas wonderland in here. I want to get this paper for Eddie. It's a little wiener, reindeer. But there's two sheets for eight dollars. No way. I found Planner, Planner Heaven. Just, they have so much like bright, cute stuff. I don't know where to start. List pad. Was able to get my parking until seven o'clock. So I have an hour and 15 minutes and I'm going into Lulu for Eddie, not for me. This is on super, super sale and it's so soft and it has little zippers on either side that you can zipper up. I just tried it on and I'm totally getting it for myself. It's $49 more from down from 120, which doesn't happen at Lulu very often. Oops. The damage continues. Totally impromptu shopping trip that I did tonight. But look at how cute it is over here. Like they have all these little shops and Christmas lights. It's not doing it any justice. Oh, I should have parked in there. Oh well, you live and you learn. There's loft, bookstore. I don't know, I have a half hour, so I might as well just walk around a little bit more before I go home. As you saw, I went into Crate and Barrel. Well, I, I didn't film in Crate and Barrel, but it was in there, and I bought myself a very little something. I was tempted to get myself the Olivia Pope wine glasses. For any of my Scandal fans, you know Olivia Pope has the most beautiful wine glasses, and Crate and Barrel carries them. Um, hold on. <laughs> For those of you wondering, the style is the Camille wine glass, and I saw them there, and I was going to get one. They're $15 a glass, which... Yes, it's a little pricey, but for a nice glass, it's not. However, the stem is so delicate, and I'd be okay with that for one glass of wine, but for anything more than that, I would probably break it. So I decided not to get it, but I did get myself something else. And the lady, I wasn't paying attention, I guess, but she like gift wrapped it for me, thinking it was a gift. I mean, I guess it is a gift, a gift to myself, but I'll show you what I got. It's, it's, it's silly, like, especially like, just look at the size of this massive, beautiful box with a little tag. I mean, it's not a beautiful box, but it's all wrapped up. Then you open it. There's a gift receipt on top, some really cute wrapping paper, uh, tissue paper, which I'm totally going to reuse. Then there's this. You guys are totally going to laugh when you see what I got. You have to get through all the piles of paper. See how reckless I am? For this. I am really obsessed with clear glass mugs at the moment. And I saw this one and I was like, you know what? This is not only going to be perfect for my candy cane lean tea that I've been having every single night, as you guys know, but also my coffee in the morning. And it just makes me really happy. I don't know. But all of that, <laughs> all of that wrapping for that little mug. Kind of silly. But I appreciate the effort. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. I might just skip it all together because I'm still really, really full from my chicken salad sandwich, even though that was seven, almost seven and a half hours ago. Pretty filling, huh? Um, I am going to pick up a little bit in here because it's very messy. There's just like stuff in the kitchen on the counters and stuff, and the boys have not cleaned up after themselves as much as I told them. So it's a day late, but I mean, by the time you guys watch us, it is live but my blog 
just went live. Um, she also redid my YouTube header, my Twitter, and my Facebook, and I am just so happy with my new look. It's just very girly and feminine, and this is much better than what I had. I just need to update my about me. My blog role is so outdated. Um, in 2015, JustKeepSweating.com is going to be a much bigger place for me uh, as it was a few years ago when I started. Um, and it's going to incorporate not just fitness. It's going to incorporate everything in my life. And it's just going to be more of not so much daily vlogging, but just, I don't know, sometimes it's nice to write things and you write, I write differently than I speak or I write differently than I record. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited and I'm just so happy with the work that Jean did. She's just amazing. So yay, Just Keep Sweating is back. I love how much these two cuddle together. Oh, ruined it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night because I'm just going to sit here and work on my blog about me because it is grossly outdated and I had no idea. So I need to fix that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the morning.